Hi, this is Karthik from Design School by WP Algorithm.com. In this video, we'll discuss Elementor 3.7 Pro features and updates. Let's see them one by one. Starting with number one. Now, whenever you visit a page on the front end when you're logged in, you see this notes button. So you can simply click that to activate something called notes. And whenever you hover over any element on your page, especially built with Elementor, you see this icon. And when you click on it, you can simply add a notes. And in this notes, you can add the rate anyone, any user on your website, or you can simply write what it's like. Maybe you can write this needs improvement or this needs correction. And once the user logs in, he can actually read your comment by clicking on the notes. All of them will be shown and you can even see if the notes is being read. So you can simply check this. You can see if they've read the notes or not. This will be highly helpful in making work even smoother. And the second feature is that now you can have a custom toggle icon for your nav menu. So I'll just click on the nav menu in your header, right? And down here, you can see that now you can pick the icon. Either you can upload one, I have something on my website already. So I'll just pick this. So this icon can be used as a nav menu icon. So you can actually test it out so that it's properly loaded. And now you can see the nav menu in action. So that is the menu icon. And that is again, a handy little feature. Of course, you can have a separate icon for the active state as well, right? So you can click on the nav menu for active state. You can pick another icon or SVG from your icon library for hover. Again, you can pick a different icon. So this is again a handy little feature added in Elementor 3.7 Pro. So the third feature is to add to cart dynamically from any widget with a link option. So you can take any widget that has a link option such as this, such as button widget. It can be a call to action widget, anything with a link option. When you click on dynamic tags and scroll all the way to down, you'll see there's a new option called WooCommerce add to cart. You can click that, click that again, and you can choose which product you want to add to cart when you click this button or when you click this widget. So let me pick a belt. And you can also pick the quantity so you can pick two so you can add two belts when I click this button I'll also change the text to make it clear so something like that I can update this now when I click on this you can see couple of belts added to the cart and the cart is being displayed here right now you can click this and check that from here so any widget with the link option you can do this you just need to go to the dynamic options and select the product that you want to add and also the quantities that you want to add so that it is that simple to add to cart from any widget again this is a handy little feature now when you design a custom cart page using elementor pro you can also design a custom template to show the empty cart option as you can see this is how it currently looks when there are no products added but now you can have an option in the cart widget you can customize the empty cart and you can also pick a template. Just design a template. I just designed this template using Elementor, of course. It can be a simple section or it can be a page. And I just have an icon and have some custom text. You can also link it to your shop page. And just like that, you just need to select the template from here. So just type in the name of the template and just select it from here. Just update it or that is how it's going to show when there are no products added to the cart in your cart widget. So that's really handy. And the fifth feature in your post widget. Now there's an align option for all your read more. So all your read more buttons are aligned right next to each other. You can see that here. If I disable this option again, the read more of the second card is above of this is below. But now with click of a button, you can align them properly. This is another handy feature added in Elementor 3 dots on Pro. Now there is a brand new stripe button widget which you can add and you can sell any product without the need for WooCommerce. So you can mention the product price from here. So you can say $10, you can specify the quantity, you can add shipping price, you can add or customize all the options and you can also redirect the user after he makes a payment when he clicks on buy now he'll be redirected to stripe site where he can purchase using the stripe account and after that he'll be redirected to any page on your website so this is again another cool widget added to elementor 3.7 pro 
there'll be a separate tutorial on this don't worry about it you need to configure it under integrations i'll show you that in another video but just be informed that this is added and not just this most of your widgets most of the options in your widgets have dynamic options so you can take products widget you can take heading widget text editor widget they have tons and tons of dynamic tags in fact they have dynamic tags to add woocommerce products woocommerce pages product titles everything that you can think of most of the fields have dynamic tags and there are tons of dynamic tags that you can explore in most of your elementor widget this is a huge update these are all the features that i found if i find any new features i'll keep you posted on it like this video share it if you enjoyed it subscribe for more like this i'll see you in the next one bye